Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. Today I just wanted to make a quick video, just an announcement. The Borns has uh, published a really cool document, I think. I think it's really cool. It's talking about search protection devices and how to choose the correct technology for your application. So I'm just going to give you a quick look at that. I'll give you a link down below so you can download your own copy. All right? And, uh... I guess I want, you know, a little bragging. Uh, yours truly has his name published, or some words published in there too. So that was really cool. But yeah, so if you don't know who Borns is, they're a large manufacturer of all kinds of things. Back in the day when I first got started in electronics, when I was in audio, still am, but when I was really getting into audio, building my own stuff, I wanted the best pots you know potentiometers and borns made arguably well what i thought was the cat's meow they just made really cool they still do make really cool pots and you know you may have seen them around but especially those little 10 turn pots on this pcb uh but anyway so that's how i first got introduced to them but they make all kinds of things and later on when i was doing lightning protection surge protection and became an expert in that field, um, I used a lot of their devices. And they're also, again, arguably one of the best vendors, uh, manufacturers for those kinds of devices. They do the TVS diodes, the small diodes, the large diodes, which I've been a huge fan of. That's a diode, guys. Big one. Um, and they do MOVs, gas tubes, all that stuff. So, anyway... I just want to show you this quick video and let me know what you think. I want to talk about surge protection and how to do design of surge protection. And so let me know your specific applications and what you guys would like to learn. Okay? And comments below. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, two thumbs up to my patrons and thumbs up to Borns for the cool publication and adding me to, to that publication. That was really awesome. So let's take a quick look at this publication. All right, so here's the publication, How to Choose the Right Surge Protection Technology. So the right technology for your application. And look up here in the left corner, yours truly. Uh, Borns and it's uh, Mauser's a sponsor. So table contents, Surge Protection Balancing Act, Chapter 2, Understanding the Engineering Challenges. Chapter 3, Understanding Surge Suppression Technologies. Chapter 4, Making the Right Surge Suppression Technology Choices. Chapter 5, Don't Forget Importance of Vendor or Supplier. Learn more about our experts. Here we go. Here's Mauser. Here's Borns. Talks about both these companies. We, we A lot of us know Mauser, I think you know, where we buy our parts, but here's Borns. They've been around for a long time. They have a lot of products. And look at this, our experts. Surge Protection Balancing Act. I'm just gonna page through this real quick because I'm gonna give you the link. Now this is really interesting, this table here. It's from UL 1449. This UL1449 is the standard for surge protection and they talk about the different types of protection and that has to do with this picture. Type 1, you're over here by the power coming into to the building. Type 2 is where you're coming off the service disconnect. And type 3 is when you're downstream a little bit. So you have a little added protection. So here's a nice diagram here talking about different types and hey look there's something key points look here's an MOV up here and now these are new parts that they've come up with these are really cool we're going to talk about these in more detail okay TVS diodes MOVs uh, and they're just not basic MOVs they're pretty cool looking MOVs so we're just flipping through these things. This one right here is the one I'm really interested in, okay? So we're just paging through. Uh, 
over here we talked about the MOVs, gas discharge tubes, TVS diodes, or a combination of GDT and MOV. That's, that's the thing I think is so cool. I've always been a big proponent of using those kind of devices. And look right here. This is a large TVS diode. It's not those little axial diodes that you're looking, thinking of. Those are useful for other applications, but I, I always like these big ones for real power stuff. And then look at this flat technology they've come up with for gas tubes. Super cool. Okay. And uh, these fuses, really neat fuses. Uh, again, we're going to talk about any and all of this stuff that you guys want to talk about and all the cool technology they've come up with and here we go so our experts <laughs> all right guys hope you like this the links below all right guys hope you found that interesting download your free copy links down below and hey, we'll see you next time. Give me your comments, what you like to see, what you like to learn, okay? All right, thanks guys. We'll see you next time.